had a fire. So let's have a look at the list. Uh, boom, right, I need 8x2, 8 number lens, 3.6 or 4.1, 4 inch coach bolt. Why don't they put like under some kind of roof canopies? over the timber. We're then ready for the trusses. It's evidently supposed to devalue the house by about 10%. Are you agree, selling it off? Yeah. Got van key, ah, wrong van. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly got ya. As we are uh, organising ourselves on the sites, we're obviously running three sites, which is something I don't really like, I'll be honest with you guys. I only normally like running two projects at a time. I've got uh, one guy, he's at the doctor's this morning, doesn't feel well, he's got to go there. And then I've had a no-show. So, you know, that this happens, you know. You think that a uh, guy's going to come in and all of a sudden uh, there's a no-show. So now I'm having to try and work and logistically understand my labour. Uh, to keep all my clients happy uh, but this is the reality of running your company and uh, but first off I've got to go and get myself a coffee before I start the day so let's go and crack and get one coffee shop's closed so I can't even get a coffee so I'm going to try the other one uh, Cafe Nero I've got to say there are other coffee shops but for me it's always Cafe Nero all day long I'd like to know what you guys actually whether you get a Costa whether you get a McDonald's Put a comment down below. I'd like to understand how um, how you start your morning. We've got a really busy day today. Uh, the steels landed yesterday. I've got to go and get them organised. Try and then look at how they're going to fit in. The other thing I've got to do is get myself over to Tiddington Road. Uh, it's another project. Um, the client had a fire. Uh, very lucky it didn't spread across. I mean, nothing to do with us, but. The fire just happened and when it was burning off, I go across and assess that and see what's got to be done. Uh, and then I've got to go then get back and then try and crack a load of steels out. So let's get a coffee first and we'll wake me up. <laughs> So guys, um, yesterday we had delivered the steels which are going to be going uh, for the two-storey extension uh, over just behind you over there. We've also then had a load of steels lifted up very kindly by the guy who dropped them off. But the next thing I'm going to do is nip to build base and go and pick up some stuff. Coach bolts and everything else because we're going to need them to put in obviously the web with the steel and, uh, and everything in there. So I'm going to pick up a load of those as well. So let's go and get that. So uh, these guys here did me proud. They supplied a load of material for the show, as did the Stratford one. We're in here now, going to pick a load of material up. So let's have a look at the list. Uh, boom, right, I need 8x2, 8 number lens at uh, 3.6 or 4.1. I need some 4 inch coach bolts and then some wall starter kits. What I'll do, my wall starter kits, I always buy them in packs of 10, it's just cheaper that way. So let's go and have a look, see what they got, guys. So this is the main manager. Right. This is the main man as well, Andy. And I've got to say thank you very much for supplying material. Yeah. You're no all no over problem. YouTube and it's just like all uh, Instagram and thank you very much. It was mm -hmm. absolutely brilliant. Yeah, no problem, and sure. it was a, a great, great show. It was absolutely brilliant. Good. It inspired a lot of people. And the youngest there was uh, year nine. Sorry, don't want to be on the video, sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't washed my hair. Yeah, I like that, that's a great excuse, isn't it? I wash my hair, hey! I bet it's never been done like that before, is it? It's no, it's the thing. first ever, yeah. first ever show where you can physically have a hands-on go. Yeah. I mean, you've got kids cutting rafters in, plastering, tight, honestly, everything you can think of. Digger simulators, two of them there. Yeah. Honestly, it was it brilliant, mate. Right. So I need a box of uh, wall sighted kits. I need uh, eight lengths of eight by two treaty. What lens? You got three six. And then also then the last thing is um, uh, coach bolts. Where are your coach bolts? Twenty twenty. Should put the glasses on, shouldn't I? So it's the same as. <laughs> M10 100. Yeah, there you go, and then. Oh, that's right. that's and you've got the spare plate washers, buddy. 
square plate, this one packs of them there. Packs of them. Everything's packed all around here, isn't it? And, um, Beautiful, that's it. That'll do, sweet. That's it. You know, the only thing I have uh, always thought about, you know, when you go to some builders merchant in the timber section, why don't they put like kind of some kind of roof canopies uh, over the timber? Because it's quite exposed, isn't it? Just help keep the uh, timber dry. Is that me or is anybody else in that? I've always dreamt of having my own merchant, you know. So you don't have to worry about going to merchant, just go to your own merchant, buy your own gear. Then. Uh, you're probably thinking where they're going, Tom. These are actually going on top of the steels and uh, ready then. We'll bolt them down, they'll then be ready then for the trusses. So, my main focus this week getting ready for the trusses. So, what we're going to do is that we're going to get all the steels in, get the timbers in, get them timbers bolted, make sure we're happy with everything. Building control, we've got to come in and then we're then ready for the trusses. I've got to chase Greg the scaffolder. The one thing with this game, you've always got to be thinking weeks and weeks in the head, or at least a good week ahead, just obviously with the work coming up. But definitely always, always chasing, chasing, chasing. got loaded all up now what we're going to do is uh, get back to the job and start looking how we're going to sort the steels out we've got the meters being changed at the moment so they're in about an hour that would be down once we got those out of the way we can crack on and get the machines running so let's get back to the job yeah, so what we're going to do now guys, uh, I've just come from Coventry, I'm now here at Tiddenton uh, in Stratford, so what we're going to do, we can have a bit of a walk around, see where the job's at, obviously the client had a bit of a fight here, so we need to ascertain what's got to be done, uh, he was doing a load of burning off and unfortunately it caught light, so what we've got to do is um, then put a price then together for him, but also it allows me then to see what other work's being done, so let's go and have a quick look, alright guys. One of the things that we've got here is I want to look at the bricks for the other job in Coventry because obviously if I can utilise some of the bricks for the other project and then obviously I can purchase them off the client which is going to be really good so let's go and have a look. Yeah, so there's a load of really, really good bricks here. So definitely um, they'll match the front elevation of the Coventry job. So um, what I'll do is I'll speak to the client in Coventry, speak to Ken and Carol. I think uh, these bricks are going to be probably worth about 150, two pounds, something like that. Sort of, uh, they're a beautiful brick actually. So let's uh, organize that and get these bricks picked up and then we're going to have to do the job, can't we? Hey, good morning, Ken. Good morning, Sean. How, are you? How are you doing? All right. All right. Yeah. Okay, I wanted to get across this morning yeah. so I can come have a look and uh, have a look, see how the windows are going in and that, mate. All right. Yeah. So um, what we've been doing here is uh, putting a uh, return uh, extension on, but also then being doing a load of internal work. Um, what I've had noticed is uh, one of the additional things, uh, as like every project, there's always additional work that has to happen. Uh, we've been uh, stripping in the back elevation. That looks a lot better, doesn't it, Ken? Because it did look a, look a little bit tired, didn't it? Yeah. You can actually see there's been a little bit of movement through there, you know, yeah. on this corner where the uh, engineer has been saying. Yeah. Actually, a few bricks need putting in. Yeah, no, we can see so. Through that, through that bathroom ceiling. Yeah, now, of course you can see daylight. <laughs> Actually, what they've got. You can see daylight. Yeah. Down, <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't it be a good idea to do the repair in the roof? Yeah, one, you, one, one hundred percent. Yeah, one hundred percent. Right, so um, let's go and have a look inside and see how we go in. Uh, it looks really nice, doesn't it, Ken? All being plastered. Looks really, really good. That's with the skylights going in there, it's really good. That's really nice. We've got the boiler room in here. Have you worked it all out, have you, Ken? No, 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 because at the minute, all that's connected is the hot and cold supply. Right, okay. Um, it looks very so, futuristic with so this, doesn't that's it? That's the heartbeat of the machine. It just that's just, all day. that's yeah. just amazing, isn't yeah. it? It's just eating the hot water as and when we want it. Basically, yeah. it's it's very sim similar to a combi boiler. Combi boiler, yeah. Yeah, very similar to that. Well, in there's a boiler. Yeah. 
that's the tank yeah and i think this is the hydrogen unit yeah and the fact is that there was no vnt involved yes yeah that yeah unit yeah that that's really good isn't it job. that's tricks hey john how you going how you doing? Yeah, good, good, good. It's actually quite nice to uh, to get the uh, traditional wooden windows back in again, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. You know, definitely better than PVC. Yeah, next door. You know, I think PVC is great, but it has its own set in place, doesn't it? Yeah. Whereas this is a beautiful old house, and you want to be like kind of sympathetic for that, don't you? Yeah, exactly. Do you know? I was reading a fact actually. Do you know when you put PVC windows into an old property, it's evidently supposed to devalue the house by about ten percent. Really? Yeah, yeah, so that's bonkers, isn't it? There are a lot of these old windows, because the sectional size here was so big, they did use, use them as um, structural windows. And I see the plumbers fitted the, uh, the spaceship boiler. Yeah. It's good, isn't it? It's in the heartbeat on it. It has, it? it's just like, that's bonkers, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. I love that. I thought there was something wrong with it. It's, it's, it's <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's alive, isn't it? It's yeah, good, I do yeah. like that, that's really cool. Have a good day, guys. Have a good day. Have a good day, mate. So, yeah. Phil, have a good day. Mate. Have a good day, mate. Thank you. If, uh, if there's a chance of working the odd Saturday on that big roof over in Carl, do you fancy doing a little bit on the Saturday, or the odd Saturday? I okay. think if you're on that roof when I'm in Greece. When you're in Greece, selling it all. With his pina colada in your hand. Of course. <laughs> yeah, that's it, yeah. There'll be some hit crazy. You've you got to be careful of that sun as well, mate. You being a bit, you know, fair. I'm, I'm a day walker. <laughs> <laughs> Strawberry run, is it, Mark? <laughs> no, I'm, no, I'm ginger. ginger. I would rather be ginger. That's why your bar's called Ginger. ginger. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so definitely check out. John runs his own bar with his good ladies, so definitely check out John's bar. Ginger's uh, Urban Bar on Instagram. There you go. So if you ever need a bar at any location, anywhere. Job, yeah. yeah, get in. Wow. Boom. <laughs> so where's the other one? Oh, this. Need the other wheel. Whee. Now these things here are absolutely brilliant for steels, running steels around. Instead of trying to get a load of blokes, you just put them on this and wheel them around. The only thing you've got to do is throw them in the van so they don't slide everywhere. Got a van key. Ah, wrong van. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Nearly got ya. That's it, boom. Right, let's go over to commentary, let's go. Hey you beautiful people, another beautiful day. So if you enjoy the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so every time you upload a video, you'll be notified. So have an awesome week. See you soon, guys, on the next vlog.